All right, I got a question out there for you. Do you have an unruly pup at home? <laughs> I know many of you do. Yeah. Maybe having accidents in the house or pulling and tugging during walks, ripping up the furniture. Listen up. Yeah, maybe they eat your shoes. Perhaps <laughs> yes, they need a little yes. training. Yes. Ivan Rios of Elite Training Centers uh, is, is meeting with Melissa Cole because she wanted to see all of this in action. You can really train your dog. Take a look. The most common things is my dog doesn't listen, it steals the turkey from the table, uh, they are pulling on leash, can't get them to stop peeing in house. Sound familiar? If so, Ivan Rios at Elite Training Centers in Glastonbury has the answer. So does every dog benefit from training? Every single dog benefits from training. Doesn't matter if you're just teaching them to sit or if you're saying their name and teaching them to look at you. Every single thing you do with your dog from the moment you bring them home is a training exercise. Jen of Glastonbury brought her two dogs to Free Range Doggy Daycare, also in this building, where she met Ivan and shared what she was struggling with at home. If I took them outside, they immediately wanted to chase cars and one time wanted to chase a bus. So I needed help with things like that, but also being able to take them for walks and them pulling and just behaviors around the house, jumping on the counter, stuff like that. She brought her dogs for about eight training sessions with Ivan, and she can't believe the difference. They walk very smoothly, and walks are enjoyable now. And they don't chase buses or cars? No, no. Chasing cars is a really big uh, thing with dogs because it's a prey drive, it's an excitement and arousal thing. And Jen is about my size, and having two 60-pound dogs on a collar or harness was just zigzagging all over. Um, now they're able to walk politely. It's amazing to me how, how the littlest things can change in an instant. Ivan says dogs are pack animals that thrive on having structure and leadership. He can start training dogs as young as eight weeks, and each dog will get a customized program. So I do have cookie cutter puppy kindergarten family dog programs, um, but a lot of times my clients are looking um, for that specific issue. So I really have to build a program based on their triggers, their you know likes, dislikes, um, and then their family schedule and you know what they're actually able to put in. And while some dogs take longer to train than others, you may start seeing results fairly quickly. As long as you follow your homework, you try, you put in you know, the time every day with your dog, you're going to see those marked improvements within the week. Deshi, sit. Nah, heel. So with small dogs, generally, the hardest thing is teaching them not to jump. Um, so with Dash, we're working a lot on four on the floor. But his parents do a lot of leash walking with him, and he has a lot of reactivity. The biggest thing that you hear with small dogs is that um, they, they think they're big dogs. Shelby is the second Dalmatian Mary Beth of Glastonbury has owned, the first one she didn't train. I always wanted to walk, and it's always been an issue where they're pulling and they weren't, they weren't staying in line, they'd go after the cars. And so um, it's more than you think to get a dog to have a nice walk where they're not dragging you or going off and trying to sniff this and that and the other thing. And um, I wish I had done training with the others. Shelby had one-on-one -on -one training with Ivan and it's made a world of difference. There's no sidewalks on my street, so walking, you're right with the cars and um, it's just so relaxing. And then when, when I wanna stop, if I stop, she knows to come and sit. Both clients recommend Ivan and elite training centers wherever they go. Facebook, through word of mouth, everybody that I can refer him to, I do. You can teach an old dog new tricks. Always. That's, if I couldn't, I wouldn't be in business, to be honest with you. Um, old dogs love new tricks. All done. Come. Nice, man. That was good. Look at the size of that dog. Oh, wow. I love it. That's great. It's good to know that, hey, it's never too late. For more information on their training programs or to get in touch with Ivan, you can visit EliteTrainingCenters.net. You can also follow along on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Elite Training Centers, LLC. All right. You're not... I'm not putting moisturizer on. You're not teaching this old dog a new trick. You did a little bit today. A little bit don't today. you think at home, doesn't he look a little better? He's Thank you. Uh, he's frosted and he's got his <laughs> moisturizer. Go on with you. <laughs> See? See? Stop it. You're less red and your hair's whiter. <laughs>